All right, gonna show an example of the debauchery that is common in modern sports. Uh, you look at the history of sports, it goes back to the pagan Roman Empire, where it was all about fighting and all about violence and that kind of stuff, and it has occult roots. I'm not saying all sports are bad, but I'm saying a lot of these professional sports, the way they just are so competitive, there's a satanic spirit behind this. And uh, again, sports are good for exercise, but professional sports have just become very degenerate. I'll just put it that way. The professional sports industry, I'll call it, has become very degenerate. And this is an example of that. Basically, these fornication, I'm not going to say the word they use, these fornication toy ads were removed from ice at this last chance Olympic curling qualifier. So these, these fornication, actually these fornication toys were present at this Olympic curling, I guess a tournament or whatever. Uh, it says it's deemed too racy for curling audience as to the replaced by statement. So basically fornication now. Not surprising because a lot of these professional sports, the sports industry, full of fornication, full of all kinds of uh, degeneracy. Going to read the article. Ads for, I'm going to use the word, fornication toy website that led to a U.S. blackout of an Olympic curling qualifying tournament will be removed from the ice and replaced with the statement, quote, equality for all. Erotic website Easy Toys and the World Curling Federation said on Friday that they have reached a deal to return to the, to return the live stream to the United States and Japan while broadcasters decided that references to the company were too racy for the curling audience. The event in the Netherlands will determine the last remaining spots for the Beijing 2022 curling fields. Quote, during an Olympic qualifying tournament, it must be, of course, about the sport and not about the sponsor. Eric Adema, CEO of Easy Toys, parent company EDC, uh, said in a statement, which was emailed to the Associated Press and translated from Dutch, quote, curling and also deserves that as a sport, which is one of the few mixed sports, a way ahead of its time. In fact, just like us. Mixed sports, okay. The thing about sports is that okay, one thing I do agree with the sports industry is how it's gender separated. Why? Because women and men are built differently. Okay, you see, curling is this one sport where it's mixed gender. The one thing the sports industry gets right is gender separation because it's just a basic scientific, biological, and physical fact that men and women are built differently. And if you put men and women, this is why the transgender sports don't work because you put men, biological men who think they're women on the same team as a girls sports team, it's rigged. It's not a fair match. Because they're still biological men. I'm not going to say too much because I might get a hate speech, right? Because the liberals, the, the satanic uh, free speech hating liberal atheists on YouTube don't like that. They're going to get triggered over that. But going to keep reading. The tournament began Sunday with mixed doubles, but American fans were unable to watch their local live stream due to what the World Curling Federation said an ongoing sponsor rights issue. Still, Available was an international live stream where viewers can see the Easy Toys Safe for Work logo on ice and built on ad and on ads surrounding the rink. The company's name was also embedded in the hog line, which determines where curlers must release the stone. Uh, quote, we hoped our vi that our visibility would contribute to the breaking the taboo that rests in, in many communities and countries on both sexuality and our industry, Idema said. Quote, it is unfortunate that adjustments are now needed to get sports to the fan get get the sport to the fans. Um, fornication toys are not some kind of, I mean, that may be a value over in the Netherlands, because the Netherlands is just a totally degenerate place. Uh, I mean, incest is basically legal over there. Prostitution is legal, so it's, it, that kind of tells you a lot about the place. Uh, and by the way, too, Netherlands is mostly atheist, so that's just the fruit of atheism for you. But, uh, yeah, that's not, that may be a value over in the Netherlands, but most countries don't accept that kind of stuff, that degenerate fornication garbage. Uh, yeah, it's just it's disgusting. This is the, this is what comes out of the sports industry, and they had thank, thank, thankfully they had enough common sense and decency to just not show that disgusting garbage. Surrounding the company, when the tournament resumes on Saturday, quote almost all Easy Toy logos will depict a, a pair of hearts nestled into the company's name will be removed from in and around the rink. It will remain on one sheet, and the hog lines will will remain Easy Toys pink. Instead, the ice will feature a hashtag calling for equality. Oh wow, isn't that just so nice? That's just so wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Quote, with the slogan, we want to, we, we still want to start with a conversation about sexual wellness and the importance of safe and pleasant sex for everybody. What does this have to do with sports? Seriously. Like, what does any of this have to do with sports? Does that, does that come across anybody's mind? What does, what, what does this have to do with sports? Disgusting. 
uh, Idema said, in many countries, quote, in many countries, the conversation is already well underway. Oh, that's great. Just pervert these other countries, too. That's wonderful. As well already underway, but the boycott confirms to us that we must continue the work to, to topic to normalize to normalize it for a wider audience. Oh yeah, just push that perversion all over the place. Push your degenerate values to other countries that have enough common sense not to accept it. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. And you wonder why people, why the, you know, why other countries look at the Western world and just laugh at it because of how sick and degenerate it is. You know, because the Western world, it's not enough for the Western countries to accept it. They want to force everyone else to accept it too. Uh, the event in Leeuwarden, about 90 minutes north of Amsterdam, is the last chance qualifier that will send two teams in mixed doubles for each for each in men's and women's in Beijing on Friday. The United States and Australia qualified in mixed doubles. There is no U.S. team in the other divisions because the Americans have already qualified for the Winter Games. Quote, Easy Toys and the World Curling Federation entered a sponsorship contract for the event in good faith based on the sh around the shared values of equality and respect for everyone, the international governing body said in a statement. Yeah, they all share the same perverted garbage. But that's just the fruits that comes out of this atheist country, the Netherlands, because it, it's just mostly atheist over there. Um, this is the fruits of atheism. And just, again, what does this have to do with sports? Like, what does any of this, what is, how does this and sports going hand in hand. It doesn't. It's just a way for them to push their disgusting degeneracy everywhere, basically. Because the Netherlands is just disgusting. I mean, there are some, there are small pockets, I'll put it that way, of saved Bible believers in the Netherlands. But the most of the country is just a degenerate cesspool. You know, I'm not picking on the people. I'm, I'm just saying the culture in general is pretty bad. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys that. This is this is just what goes on in modern sports. Just a bunch of fornication and all kinds of de degenerate garbage. So just wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.